Hello, my friends. So next up on the bottle set series is are some items that you can use in your kitchen. So a lot of people ask me how you cook with essential oils. The key, I think, is actually pre-infusing the essential oils into the things that you're wanting to cook with. For example, olive oil. Oh, this is one of my favorites. Infuse olive oil. You just add olive oil. Okay, so this is just olive oil. I'm gonna make it here with you. Chinga, 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 chinga. And I'm gonna leave a little bit of room at the top. And you get to add essential oils of your choice. So about two, like one to four drops. This is a two ounce bottle. You can do oregano, rosemary, black pepper, any citrus oil, a lemon infused or orange or tangerine infused olive oil or even grapefruit is so good. I remember the first time I tried this, I was blown away. So I actually love gifting these to people because it's it's November right now. And so it's really a good time to start thinking about gifts. But if you're wanting to support someone's health, support your wallet and not totally go broke, these are really good ways to do so. This So this costs probably under a dollar to make because you're using so little so few drops of essential oil. So I'm gonna be adding some black pepper to this. So you might be asking what you can actually do with this. Let me tell you, you can spray onto salads. It's really awesome. You can spray onto your frying pan, onto roasted veggies, onto bread, uh, meat or fish if you eat that, or use as a bread dip. So you can kind of pre-mix this in here and then you can actually dump it out into like a little little bowl and use that as your bread dip. You can add some balsamic to it and you have a really great kind of homemade appetizer. You do not need to go to some special place to get infused olive oil. Just use your essential oils. It's going to be much cheaper. So I'm going to be doing about three drops of black pepper. Boom. And that, my friends, is how you make infused olive oil. Boom. Okay, another thing I really like to use in the kitchen is infused honey. So if you're vegan, that's totally awesome. You could use this probably with some sort of vegan sweetener. I'm gonna probably have to experiment with this. But infused honey, it's just honey and essential oils. So you can use this one in particular is ginger and lemon, probably one of my favorite combos. And I've actually also added turmeric powder to this, which makes it Kind of even more special it's delicious but you could add um, lavender orange lemon on guard peppermint digest zen you can get really creative with this depending on what kind of support you're wanting so this is really good just as a tablespoon in hot water and tea coffee you can spread it onto toast or fruit or you can eat plain so this acts as a really really good like cough syrup um, you can actually mix some of this with coconut oil and like drop it on a little cookie sheet and then freeze the cookie sheet and you have these little like cough drop, kind of like homemade cough drops. I actually haven't done that yet, but I would like to try it at some point. Um, so infused honey is really useful and another really, really good one for a Christmas or holiday gift or just a gift any time of the year. Um, it's going to cost you depending on the size of your jar and where you get your honey. I encourage or invite you to get local honey if you can. Now that doesn't necessarily mean go to Whole Foods and get the you know local honey. We don't really know where that's really coming from. If you can find like a local farmer's market, things like that, or if you have a friend that has bees, that's ideal. Um, but this is so good. This and the infused olive oil really sold me on using essential oils in the kitchen because it's it just will blow your mind when you first try this. So um, one other note with, you can pre-mix this like I mentioned with the On Guard and then a really good tip to use, like to do in the morning, especially if you're dealing with digestive issues, you might have an overgrowth of H. pylori and apple cider vinegar and the on guard essential oil is really good for combating that. And so just using a tablespoon or teaspoon or tablespoon of the honey pre-mixed with the on guard and like a teaspoon of the 
apple cider vinegar or some hot water over it, it's a really good way to kind of wake up your digestive system and support the overgrowth of H. pylori and any other bad bacteria that you might be fighting. So those are two things that I love using in the kitchen. And again, all part of my bottle set. And another quick tip, just because I can't help myself, you can also infuse salt. So you just take a jar, add some like Himalayan pink salt or Celtic, Celtic sea salt, I never remember which way it is. And you just add essential oil, shake it up, and you have infused salt. So black pepper salt, or you can do rosemary, oregano, kind of the same cooking oils as I mentioned for the olive oil. And it, it's actually surprising that it doesn't clump, but it works really well. So that might be another cool addition to your kitchen and using oils in that way.